Sudanese authorities are set to introduce new banknotes into the market as part of efforts to resuscitate the economy amid high inflation. Experts warn that the issuing a new 1,000 banknotes could further deteriorate the country's crippling economy. While citizens also raise eyebrows over the government's move, officials expect that it will yield some improvement. Here's more details of that in this report. The total number of currency notes in circulation in Sudan continues to decline. Government reports show that the central bank only owns 2.5% of the monetary block, while the international average is 10%. Experts say the government's plan to issue new 1,000 pound notes may be an attempt to solve the chronic public and commercial liquidity crisis. But there are concerns it could just lead to even higher inflation. The Central Bank of Sudan should have withdrew the small bank notes as it has no purchasing value in the market. This step should be preceded by securing enough reserve of gold or foreign currency. It will result in higher inflation and negatively impact the economy. The new 1,000 Sudanese pound note is just the latest in a series of increasingly higher values issued in years. It came amidst rising inflation, rated as the second highest in the world, which rapidly eroding the currency's value. Residents of the Sudanese capital think issuing new notes may not be very helpful for the economy. The new note will not change anything. Actually, it will help increase prices and the small notes like 20 and 50 will disappear. The 1,000 pound note will buy goods worth 10 pounds in the past. We've experienced that before when the previous government changed notes. The government should prioritize finding solutions to the bad economy and high prices of commodities. Instead of printing new banknotes, it's an unbearable situation. Sudan has lost billions of dollars in international development programs after October's military coup that put Sudan's economy in a free fall. Resuming its support will help the country in recovering the economy.